Hey guys, I'm really excited to be doing these videos again, even though it's pretty common knowledge that they always pose quite a struggle for me. It's my goal throughout the course of these next few videos to figure out a better space for vlogging. Um, I also kind of want to buy like a flashy thing to put in the background so that I can be more like Sweeney. I think my general goal is just to look as cool as Sweeney does when she makes these videos. It's pretty funny that our first topic is about travel because I'm not a great traveler. I will amend and say that I've been very lucky in the last couple of years I've gone on quite a number of trips, but in general I don't consider myself well traveled. I think the reason people associate me with travel is because they associate me with Sweeney. Because in the past two to three years, more like three, I've been on seven trips, which is kind of insane now that I think of it, but of those seven, Four of them were to go see Sweeney. <laughs> so I travel to see Sweeney. Ours is an epic friendship. I don't come from a family of travelers. If you talk to the Sweeneys, it is freaking amazing. The stories that they have amongst all of them. My norm growing up was you travel to see family and we went to Disney World a couple of times. I don't think my family really understands my desire to travel. I would love to see the world. When I started traveling a couple of years ago, I decided that I would start with hitting the major cities in the U.S. and I've done a few of those. My favorites so far have been Chicago and Seattle. Seattle was really gorgeous in a like dreary, cloudy way. It's kind of funny. It's <laughs> an oxymoron of a city, but I really enjoyed it. I've been out of the country twice, but both times it was to the Dominican Republic. One time when I was about 10, maybe a little bit younger, and then I just went back recently in, in April actually, and that was an amazing experience. I had a lot of these thoughts about being back in the country where my parents were born, and we spent a majority of the time in the resort and in the resort city, but we did get to go back to where my my father was born. During my first trip to Santiago, we actually stayed in that neighborhood. We stayed in my father's childhood home. And I remember it pretty vividly, but going back and seeing the reality of it as an adult, it was, it was heartbreaking. We couldn't go inside the house because they're renting it to someone else, but we kind of just stood on the street and all looked into there and, and we were pretty quiet, but it, it really puts things into perspective. I remember as we were driving from Puerto Plata to Santiago, we were passing all of just this scenic, gorgeous land. And I, this thought bubbled up in me, kind of like, you know, why just nobody do anything with this land? It's gorgeous, why it's so underused? And I had to like stop and think, like I was thinking like some sort of conquistador. <laughs> not my land but there I was my American mentality just like hoping to claim it and someone would use it do something with that land my sister made a comment as we got off the plane about how strange it was to be in a country where everyone looks like you where you're kind of the norm and I don't know if I would have thought of it that way but it was indeed interesting and being in a place where you know you're connected to the heritage and it made me think a lot about how I'm connected to my heritage and how I could be more connected to it. So I guess more than a list of top places I've been, it's pretty much just a list of places I've been. That's it for me. Tune in again on Tuesday to see Sweeney's face. See you then, Sweeney.